It's 48 past 10. The time has come for me to do the right thing in regards to my Elgato Stream Deck. I now have the replacement. It's in. It's right here. Let's put on this light. It's all set up. It's all working perfectly and I obviously have the defective faulty one here, which has got to go back. I'm going to put that in this box. I'm going to mail that out today. This is my new guy. That's the shipping box. Elgato have also come to the party and supplied a return um, postage paid um, courier. So I don't have to do anything except walk that to the post office and say, thank you very much, Elgato. And I want to just say quickly to anyone who has a situation like this, where a company does something um, above and beyond, you now have the duty and the obligation to fulfill your side of the bargain because obviously you could be a dishonest person and now I have two stream decks, I have this guy and I have that guy and I could keep both of them. Let's be honest, you could. You could just say, look, I'm gonna keep both, that's their bad luck. That's not the kind of person I am and that's not the kind of people I hope you are. So do the right thing. Fulfill your end of the bargain and send the defective one back like I'm about to do today. Also, Elgato announced a huge, not a huge product, well, in size, but a very cool product at um, CES this year. Check this out. This is their key light. Now, this is really cool because it's controlled by the Stream Deck, which, you know, these all tie in together nicely. Right now, and look how it sits there on the desk. It's just on its own little clamp system. It's rotatable. Right now, my light system is this sketchy um, LED that I got off... Um, actually, it wasn't off Amazon. It was from Generay. And what I find with this light is it constantly flickers. If I've been streaming for more than, say, 15 minutes, it'll just start pulsing. And you might not see it, but the refresh rate on the camera, the shutter speed, coinciding with the refresh rate of that flicker gives this waving up and down vibe. So, and, and also look how I've got to put this thing on my desk. You know, I've got it on two of these canisters, three thick books or two thick books, one of them being Bon Jovi work and the other one Kanye Lens vs Soundwave and a, and a stool. All that to get it up high enough to be my streaming light. So I've got my eye really closely on this um, key light from from stream deck i wouldn't mind a couple of them actually i think two of them would be perfect i'm thinking one as my key light and one as my fill light from behind and to the side that'd be ideal and then it's all controlled by the stream deck <clears throat> turning on setting temperatures setting vol um setting volume uh, volume what's setting light power right there from the stream deck so you could just hit like i have one button to start stream I could have one button to start stream, which would then turn the lights on before the stream starts, setting everything up perfectly. Each time would be the same. So I'm going to keep watching this product. It, it has been mentioned, but it hasn't been released yet. So I'm certainly keen to see how I could use that product in my stream. And if Elgato are as good as they are to me in regards to this Stream Deck swap, then that, that product, this product that they've just announced is going to be incredible like the stream deck is an amazing piece of tech and i know people can use anything you can use a kit um an ipad for the same scenario but just having that tactile tactile button which you can feel without having to look at 